It's alive. It's alive. It's alive. <laughs> Well, we blew that up. Actually, the new camshaft came in uh, the other day. I didn't film it because, it, to me, it's not a very uh, eventful. It's not a very eventful thing. But the new camshaft is in. Car's running. Timing-wise, uh, that's what I want to cover today. I guess is the TDI timing on this particular one. This is an automatic, so the timing mark is different on the flywheel than a uh, standard transmission, and that's what we really want to get to. So. I'm going to do this on here. Uh, if you see it, that means it worked. Lighting wise, it's going to be a problem. Seeing the timing marks on an automatic on a TDI, and this is 2003, is very difficult at best. I don't know why Volkswagen ever got away with this, but hey, let's try this and let's see if it'll work out. New camshaft, new lifters, it's all in, it's all working, it's running. Uh, been up and down the road a little bit with the bug just checking it all out meantime uh, Since the camshaft came in I'm changing these things which is uh, Yeah, basically control arms and lower ball joints, but that's another job for another time the uh, Camshaft job is over with but I uh, made a discovery while I was in there the top dead center mark is either uh, wrong or somebody's had the wrong setting for a long time. Uh, I checked the fuel pump and set it up for top dead center and the top dead center mark was nowhere to be found. This is an automatic. So I want to show you on an automatic, on a TDI, what are you looking for? Because I get the feeling that the mechanic or whoever last worked on this car, I don't think he knew where the TDI was either. And I did several things, so I'm going to try to cover that today and just show you what, you know, two different things to show where is TDI, where's, where's top dead center, D TDC, on a TDI. I'm trying to say that twice, no way. <laughs> okay, in order to get TDI mechanically and exact, what I did was I removed this glow plug right here. Took the glow plug out, pulled the cap away. Now you got a hole. Now you can't just stick anything down there. You got to be kind of careful with it. Uh, I've got this uh, square rod, which is uh, one eighth rod, like a key wave type rod. You can buy these at uh, various supplies stores, wherever, like Lowe's and even Home Depot in the uh, steel projects area. They've got stuff like this. You can also buy it uh, at uh, machine shop, other services. Now I dropped the rod down through the hole once I brought the to what was theoretically top dead center. Now there's a couple of reasons you want to do this. This is a diesel. That rod can get caught in there and get all bent out of shape. So you don't want to do that. Bring the piston up to where you think top dead center is. Put the rod in and then I rocked, took a wrench onto the fuel pump because it's right here and it's geared right to the crankshaft. So I rolled, rolled the fuel pump back and forth just a little bit and watched the rod go up and down until it absolutely hit what is considered to be mechanically top dead center for this engine regardless of what's going on anywhere else in the car. Now as I did that I also took this off and had the camshaft, I got the camshaft locked so I sort of like dialed in the camshaft. Now at that time I didn't have the proper locks so I sort of did it uh, a little bit you know visually and then tightened this up so that the camshaft is now locked into what is theoretically top dead center, the fuel pump was wrong, or at least it was a way off from where it should be. So that's when a lot of questions started, you know, hitting. So now I'm going to get a flashlight and I'm going to show you where the uh, where the actual top dead center mark is. You got to look down through here, and this is where things are going to get really crazy, I guess, a little bit because Volkswagen for some reason blocked it half with hoses and everything else. There's a square hole window down there and you're looking for a mechanical slot. 
and that mechanical slot should be at the bottom now a lot of people have shown pictures and stuff like that of it but the thing is is actually seeing it is I think worth something so let's just take a look and see if we can actually vis visually actually see the hole all right and there it is down there okay and there we go now we're looking at that square hole that window on an automatic and what you're going to look for is actually it's like a drilled out half slot in the metal and that's going to come by that is to mark top dead center mechanically with the engine and it's correct but the, the setup wasn't correct anyways so I did the pump and up until now just so everybody's on the same page the car wouldn't start at this point with everything done the car would not even run so I set the pump back up to where a theoretical top dead center is I've got the camshaft dialed in and used it that way then went and hit the key car started right up immediately and ran great so yeah that's what was going on all right so so now the next thing we're going to be doing uh, I did the control arm and, and the uh, lower ball joint did the ball joint and the control arm on that side on the passenger side it needed it it's kind of like fixed right now but what I'm thinking is just go ahead and change the other one because uh, I have I bought both sides I bought a kit so I'll just change the whole thing over and uh, be done with it so hey another another big day now on 3d print uh, I've got something I'm working on now which will be to hold a uh, gauge for the uh, boost pressure gauge that I'm going to put in install in the dash so that we have boost pressure uh, on the uh, TDI so that'll be a project up and coming uh, I've also got some I've got the worst headliner uh, mess I've ever seen and I'm going to work on figuring out a way to get that headliner fixed and if it works then I guess we'll we'll do a, a show about how to fix a really bad headliner it's very common in the south uh, I think they it's when they put their fishing poles in the car with them the fishing poles tear up the headliner oh and the cigarettes they 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 mess the headliner up too that's got to be what it is I don't know hey thanks for watching coffee and tools and yes the TD is running what you don't believe me what you want to hear it running well, let's see if I have a key. Is that a key? Yep, that's the key to the... Ah, okay. So let's go start her up. Mm-hmm. Now. Okay. Now we're in the big bad bug. And put the key in. And turn it. Huh, 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 huh. Now... It's cold, but as you can hear it right now, it just sounds like, you know, sounds like a, TD, a TDI. <laughs> but yeah, starts right up with the key immediately since uh, I uh, corrected the timing. Thought you all might want to know about that because uh, mechanics have had the car for a long time, worked on the car. I don't know how the timing got so far off, but it did. So, hey, until next time, Coffee and Tools, we're signing off. Adios.